you. All right, Matt, thank you. It is time now for a look at our Sunrise Smart Start. Demolition has begun on that apartment building on Thurston Road in Rochester after a five alarm fire tore through the building yesterday. Firefighters were still putting out flames hours after the initial call. Two local priests were moved from their posts after allegations of sexual abuse under orders from the Bishop of Rochester. Father Thomas Valenti and Father Eric Villoria were removed from public ministry. That means they can no longer preside over church services or present themselves publicly as priests. Police have released the name of the woman who was hit and killed by a grease detective in Parma Saturday. 52-year-old Lillian Wayano was walking on the side of Ridge Road near Trimmer Road around 9 o'clock Saturday night when she was struck and killed. The driver, uh, Greece Police Detective Kevin Klump. Police say he pulled over, tried to give her CPR, but she died at the scene. Klump is currently on paid leave as the investigation continues. A Rochester man convicted on charges of child sex abuse yesterday. Ray Jones III found guilty after prosecutors say he abused the victim over a nine-year period. Charged with criminal sex act, rape and sex abuse, Jones will face up to 25 years to life in prison. Firefighters in Churchville mourning the loss of their former fire chief last night. 46-year-old Thomas Hetherington was killed in a snowmobile crash in the Adirondacks. We're told he lost control on a turn and hit a tree. Other people in his riding group attempted to help him but were unsuccessful. The developer of a proposed Chick-fil-A restaurant in Henrietta revealing more about his plans yesterday. He's looking at a site located at the corner of Marketplace Drive and Jefferson Road. A review of that proposed location will take place today in Henrietta. Another Chick-fil-A was opened locally earlier this year in Greece. Another cloudy day in store with a, perhaps a little bit of snow, right, Josh? Yeah, that's right. Uh, looks like the stage is set for some flurries to fly later this afternoon and into this evening. Just enough to dust the ground. Really, the story is just how sun-starved we have been. And uh, we will stay that way here, I think, throughout the morning with this low deck of clouds in place across the area. In fact, you can see that here on the satellite and radar, uh, that uh, shield of stratus expanding south and east uh, from the upper Great Lakes into our neck of the woods. And uh, some of that low cloud cover will continue to make progress uh, downstate as well. Now, later on into the afternoon, there'll be a little disturbance coming through. Already starting to see a few flurries flying there near Georgian Bay. And then we'll see more flurries flying here in Rochester as we work our way into uh, the afternoon. Maybe some local lake flake at, uh, flakiness as well into this evening uh, into Wayne County. And uh, that could uh, be good enough to dust the ground or perhaps even create a local inch in spots by morning. So here's your planner here for the day today. Uh, again, we we'll, we'll should find a, a mostly cloudy sky. Temperatures will largely be into the low 30s. And again, there will be some light lake flakiness developing into this afternoon and this evening. And for those looking ahead to uh, some milder weather, I think that's in the cards as well. We should be into the 40s by the end of the week. Yeah, Friday looks 47 perhaps, right? Yeah. Won't that be nice? Yes. A little bit of a looking treat there. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to Friday. Frosty, Frosty might not like it, but you know. Yeah, it might melt. There's more to come for Frosty later Absolutely. on. Absolutely. We can take a 47 degree day. That's right. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update is coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Have a great day.